very vivid <laughs> we uh, imagine god in so many different forms but we also have a system where we recognize god as ether he is all over it is in everything krishna concepts of Hinduism. Godliness is again, it's a doctrine, it's a principle which rules the universe. Finally, there are explanations which uh, science cannot give. And that is, there is some superpower, even science has to recognize that. We know it. So in Indian mind, for commoner, we always like to imagine God in some form. represents what is Krishna really he's a small child he's the gopi's idol or is he yogi what is he so his form is uh, so changing it is so vivid <laughs> Pantheon is so rich and so meaningful. Mm. So anybody can, I mean, it has nothing to do with so-called religion. These are uh, Indian minds, ideas, which are, I feel, universal. Kashi gods we for us they are human beings and then same human beings can be godly 
so that's what makes it uh, universal and that's what makes it all time uh, alive hmm. so this kind of thinking can never die because it will always relate to the changing society <laughs> Thank you.